I honestly don't know who do I think I am with this hair. Like, am I cool enough to pull this hair off? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, welcome back. I hope that you're all doing well. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Carmen. I am a professional makeup artist. And in today's video, as you have seen in the title, you know, because it's it's right there, we're doing an 80s disco look today. It's gonna be a fun one. And you know, I, I just, I wanna have fun with makeup. I love makeup. Makeup is my passion. And um, I want to reignite, you know, the flames of passion for makeup in you. So it, it's not about the products. It's not about, you know, the newest product on the market with these type of looks. It's just about the love of makeup, about having fun. So, uh, yeah, if that sounds good to you, then please keep on watching. But before we get into it, don't forget to subscribe. I would love it if you would decide subscribing and joining this uh, wonderful family that we have here on this channel. And uh, also, you know, if you would uh, press the like button, it will help me so, so much. All right, let's get to it. I need to get the bangs out of my face and I don't know how to like do that. I'm gonna start with highlighter and I'm gonna use the high glass primer from NYX and the shade Moonbeam. So I'm just applying it on the highest points as usual. I think you have seen me do this step so many times. I always like to apply highlighter uh, before a foundation. Not like always, always, but because I think it just gives a much more natural result. It looks like the glow is coming, you know, from your skincare, from a very healthy glowing skin and uh, not rather from a product that's sitting on top of your skin. For my foundation, I'm gonna use the Seamless Skin from Lisa Eldridge. And to apply it, I'm gonna use a 31 brush from Refer. I swear to God, every time I use this foundation, I'm just like reminded of how beautiful it is. It's just something about it. To conceal, I'm going to combine the Lancome Tanty Doll and the NARS Radiant Creamy. And to apply the concealer, I'm going to use the Refer 12 brush. As usual, before I do anything on the eyes, I just make sure that I have no creases. I'm going to start with a waterproof pencil. This one is from Sephora and uh, it's in the shade Black Lace. And I'm just going to apply it on my waterline. And I'm also tie lining with it. Now I'm switching over to another black pencil. The difference between this one and the other that I have used previously is the fact that this one is not waterproof. So because it's not waterproof, it's going to let me blend it out and shape it in the way that I want. And um, it's gonna give me more wiggle room because it's not waterproof, so it's not gonna dry down as fast. So that's why um, I prefer to use a pencil that is not waterproof. So I'm going to start by aligning my upper lash line, just like this, and then my lower lash line. And now I'm going to use this flat brush from Zoeva, and I'm going to blend this line. Just gonna extend it here. And I'm doing the same on the bottom lash line. And now here on the inner portion of the eye, I'm um, extending this part upwards. Am I in focus? Well, I hope I was because it's so annoying when I try to explain you something and then the camera is basically just not focusing on me and it's driving me insane. Now I'm also going with this in the crease. I'm basically just leaving an empty space right here. 
So on top of that black pencil, I'm going to use another pencil. And this one is from NYX and it's in the shade Purple Lace. So I'm going to line again my upper lash line and then my lower lash line. And then I'm actually going to apply it like this. And then also here, leaving a gap in the middle. And I'm just going to use the same brush to blend this. There's kind of a gap here and um, I want to fill that. So I'm applying more of the purple blaze. Now I'm gonna use this Visart Dark Matte Palette and I'm gonna take another flat brush. This one is from Hakuhodo. I'm just gonna take this shade right here on it and I'm just gonna press it over um, the blended pencils. I know it looks a bit crazy right now, but don't worry. Everything is gonna be blended and it's not gonna be as intense. So with a clean blending brush, this one is a Hakuhodo J5523. I'm just going to blend the edges. This is a Katie and Desi Frenication palette and I'm gonna take this shade right here that's called a moment and I'm gonna press it like this in the center of my eyelid and I just keep blending this and tapping it with my finger. I basically applied it over all my mobile lid. Now, of course, it is time to blend all of this. I'm just gonna go over the edges of that shade. I'm going to apply a little bit of the Fix Plus on the back of my hand. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it's here. And I'm gonna use this Refer 28 brush. It's dirty on this side, but I'm just gonna use the other side or rather just like, uh, the top of it, it doesn't matter anyway. And with the Refer 20 brush soaked in the MAC Fix Plus, I'm going to take this blue again and I'm going to apply it on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take this Refer 13 brush and I'm gonna use it to blend my uh, lower lash line. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Palette and I'm gonna mix these two shades right here. Again, I'm using the Refer 13 brush and I'm applying these right here on my bottom lash line. I wanna add even a little more to the eyes. I know this seems like a lot, but you know, the 80s disco looks were just more on top of more on top of more. So we are going all the way today, all right? We're just having fun. And I'm also going to add this glitter. This is from Lemonhead LA and uh, this is the Space Paste in the shade Houdini. It, it's such a special glitter because um, as its name says, it's magical. It looks like a magic trick. Um, and it's only visible in the right light. I don't know how I can just like turn this so you can see but it becomes visible only in the right light and it has this purple iridescence to it and i think it's so special so i'm going to use an art store brush to apply it i bought this one at an art store and i don't know if you can like see i don't think it translates very well on camera can you like even see how magical this looks on the eyes i hope that you can I feel like here in the inner corner, I went way too far with the eyeshadow. So I'm using a Q-tip just to clean a little bit. I'm also going to use that Q-tip just uh, here on the edges. So whenever I have fallout, I take my foundation brush and I just drag it like this. All right, so I'm going to correct a little bit underneath my eyes, do my eyebrows, and I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna use Moonstone from Becca with a B142 brush from Hakuhodo. And I'm just gonna apply it in my inner corners. And I'm also going to use it here. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Fetish Eyes from Pat McGrath. 
I'm going to powder now underneath my eyes. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD in the shade Light Vanilla and the Refer 16 brush. I'm also going to powder the center of my face because it drives me nuts that it's so shiny. Okay, so much better now. And I'm also going to apply it here on the sides of the nose and a little bit here on my chin. All right, I'm going to apply some fake eyelashes just here in the outer corners of my eyes and I'm gonna be right back. Now that I'm back, I'm going to continue with the rest of my face and I'm gonna use the Tom Ford shade and Illuminate in intensity 0.5. I'm taking it from the back of my hand with a refer 24 brush. So we're gonna use it on the sides of my nose and a little bit here on the hairline. I'm gonna apply powder all over my face and I'm gonna use this Refer 18 brush. I'm gonna use now a little bit of Hoola from Benefit with a Refer 4 brush. This is an angled brush. I'm just gonna take the excess off on my hand. I don't wanna use too much. So I'm gonna use it on the sides of my nose and on my hairline. I'm gonna use now Milani Luminoso with this Refer 05 brush. And I'm taking the blush higher in a draping technique. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush right here on my temple, kind of just bring it on the cheekbone. And I'm gonna take the blush on the Refer 16 brush. I just wanna tie everything together, so I am going to apply the blush here on the edges of the eyeshadow. I mean, is this even an 80s look if I'm not gonna do a red lip? I'm gonna use Ruby Woo from MAC, pencil and lipstick. All right, so this is it. This is the finished look. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate having you here more than you'll ever know. Also, please don't forget to subscribe, press that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful. And you know what? I really hope that you guys had as much fun watching me do this look as I had doing this look. Did that make any sense? I, I don't know, but I think you got the idea, right? All right, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Bye.